Welcome to this ANSYS how-to series video for Granta EduPack. In this video, we will introduce the main functionalities of the software found in the main toolbar. Let's explore the level one database in Granta EduPack. The toolbar is found at the top of the screen. The first button in the toolbar accesses the home page. The home page highlights the different data tables available in each database of the software. Level one has both the material and process universe data tables. There are links to resources on the right, such as video tutorials like this one, database information, additional resources, and our education hub can all be accessed from this homepage. Finally, the database selection screen and first step guides can be accessed here. The second button in the toolbar is Browse. The Browse function allows for exploration of the various data tables. Here, the Material Universe folder level structure is displayed. By clicking and opening different folder level records, we can find more information about individual materials, such as ABS. The third button is Search. Search allows for finding materials and processes by material name, trade name, application, or other keywords. We can also use search operators in the software for more specific searches. For example, if we want to know about a material of interest, say gold, we can type the name here to find related data sheets. The search function also works with trademarked names, for example, Teflon. The fourth button is the Chart Select button. This, along with Browse and Search, make up the core functionality of Grant to EduPack. Clicking Chart Select opens up a selection project panel. Selection projects can be used to compare different material and process properties with one another for material selection projects. Each project contains three sections, selection data, selection stages, and results. Selection data allows us to choose the relevant data set of interest from the drop-down menu, or to change databases if needed. Selection stages has three options, creating a chart, setting a limit, or filter using a tree stage. Each of these functionalities have their own in-depth tutorial, which can be found in the video description or through the links on the homepage. The results stage shows which materials or processes pass the various constraints chosen within the selection stage. The next button, Solver, as well as the button for the Synthesizer tool are grayed out in level one. These tools are advanced and are only available in the advanced level three databases in the full EduPack license. EcoAudit is a tool found in all databases of Grant EduPack. This tool allows for you to identify which part of the life of a product dominates in terms of environmental impact. It also gives you the opportunity to investigate using possible scenarios of how design changes can influence environmental impacts. Different information related to a product, such as the bill of materials, transport of the product, energy consumed during use, and its life cycle can be put into EcoAudit and assessed for their environmental impact. An in-depth video tutorial for this feature can be found through the links in the homepage. The next button opens the Learn function of the software. Learn is focused on providing additional support to users related to different aspects of material science and material selection. By clicking this button, a web page opens where users can explore various topics. For example, one area of interest is material selection, which has additional information regarding topics such as performance indices. The Tools button gives access to the Add Record function, which allows for comparison of your own material records, and Favorites, which enables highlighting of candidate materials within the database. Additional features for referencing records and comparison tables are found under the Tools button in the Advanced Level 3 Subject Databases. Next, we have the Settings button, allowing for changes of settings within the software, such as text size in both the data sheets and the charts. One important setting is changing the units for both currency and unit system. Absolute or display units can be chosen for temperature here. The numbers tab allows for display of numbers in various notations, as well as displaying average data values instead of data regions, depending on specific needs. Once changes are made in settings, click apply to set them. The final button on the main toolbar is help, which has a small drop-down menu. The top option is Help. 
Clicking this again opens a new web page. The help function is different from learn in that it covers software usage specific questions, not engineering topics. Details about getting started, browse and search, charts and selection stages, software tools, and the data can all be found here. One area to highlight is the accessibility functions within Granta Edupack. We have taken care to ensure compatibility with high contrast themes and easily configurable font colors and sizes within the settings tab. There is also a comprehensive list of keyboard shortcuts shown here. This list can also be found in the help under the getting started tab. Back in the software, the help drop-down menu also contains links to tutorials such as this one, our online education hub, further ways to contact us, and details about the software. In this how-to tutorial, we have covered the main functionalities found in the main toolbar in Grant Edupack. Links to videos on how to create and format charts, as well as how to use the limit and tree stages to further narrow down material selection projects in Grant Edupack can be found in the description below. Links to more information about Edupack and other ANSYS products can also be found in the description. Be sure to check out our channel for more ANSYS learning videos, and thank you for watching.